How can one determine the safe sex positions after surgery and when? And is this different for knees and for hips? So this is a question we get all the time. And uh, I think some people are uncomfortable talking about this, but it's a reality. And it's hard to say what a specific cutoff would be. Uh, what I usually say to people is you can expect a period of time uh, after surgery where you're not going to be physically able uh, to have sex. And then there's going to be a period where you can, but you just have to be cautious and use a, a sort of a common sense approach uh, to starting uh, back up with sexual activity. There is a difference with hips and knees. Uh, so for hips, there's a few differences. First, uh, depending on the approach that your surgeon used and the different precautions that you may have, whether it was from the front or the back, that might dictate which positions are safe and which positions are unsafe. And there's a lot of literature and some and good articles about what you can and cannot do uh, immediately after surgery and then as you progress. In terms of knees, the biggest issue really is pain in the knee on the front of the knee, so we call it anterior knee pain. And the other issue is range of motion. So oftentimes in the first few weeks after surgery, we're really focusing on increasing your range of motion. And until you have that, certain positions uh, could potentially flex your knee to the point where it causes discomfort. So again, just sitting back and talking to patients openly about what's a safe position uh, when that time is. I always get asked and try to get pinned down on what a reasonable time is. I tell them three to four weeks, but really I think it's when you're able to walk on your own and your pain is controlled off of narcotics. I think that's the time when you can safely start getting back into it.